All right, today's video is going to be on the Nexus 7. This is the 2013 uh, edition of the device. Now, the 2012 version or the Nexus 4 will also function on this same little hack I'm going to show you today, which is very, very cool. Um, and I've done it on my 2012 edition before, and but it's been quite a while. So what I'm going to show you guys how to do is how to install multi-ROM manager or multi-ROM mod. I guess you could say on this device which is absolutely awesome and now it's streamlined with an application to get it installed that makes it super simple for you guys. So I'm just going to go over some prerequisites really quick first. First thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and get to make sure your device is unlocked. You have an unlocked bootloader um, and I have videos on that and then obviously root access is going to be needed to use the installer. So unlock bootloader root access and then Custom recovery would be also preferable. Have something like Clockwork Mod Recovery or T Team Win Recovery Project installed. So if you have those things kind of met and you already got to that, I'm going to show you how to get this multi-ROM uh, manager uh, functioning for you. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to the Play Store and right here it is, multi-ROM manager, and you're going to download it. I'm just going to open it right here. And I've already installed it, but when it comes up, what it's going to do is it's going to say, you're going to go ahead and check all these. Um, so I'm running stock, so I'm going to install the kernel. is going to be the stock 4.3 kernel. So you make sure all those are checked. It's going to say up here that they're not installed on top. This is like status. And you're going to go ahead and hit the install. Now, if you have CM10.2 on your stock system, you can install that kernel if you want instead. But because I'm running stock, I'm going to install that stock kernel. So from here, pretty simple, just go ahead and hit install. And you can see it's doing a thing. It's going to ask to reboot into recovery and you just hit OK. Or it should say reboot. And it's going to open up, well I already have Team Win Recovery Project on my device. So it's going to open up that recovery system and flash this little bit of stuff it needs to flash. It's going to do it automatically for me. So you can see I'm not touching anything. It flashes it automatically and should reboot the device. And that's it. You'll have this multi-manager installed. So on the next screen, you're going to see what I call a splash screen. And it's a screen before it boots, and it's got a timer on it. So you're just going to touch the screen. If you don't touch it, it'll boot normally. If you touch it, then you can get into the options of the recovery system. So what you had just installed is this splash screen stuff you needed to get this functioning you installed a modded team win recovery project um, recovery and you installed that stock Kexic kernel um, that's what that little script you just clicked installed in the app did and this is the system that allows you to do the multi booting right here multi rom um, which has a lot of stuff so let me go through some of it and get you a little bit up to speed on how it functions um, so if you normally boot up, it's going to default boot to something. Well, this is default boots to internal. Um, you can see I already have another ROM installed. And if you wanted to boot that, you just check it, hit boot. This is internal, which is whatever you have on the device when you installed multi-ROM. And then you would hit that and you hit boot, and it would boot either one of those systems. But I'm going to get into more features of this, so let me just go through this menu. And then I'll show you how to do a ROM install and kind of just keep going on showing you all the features of this cool hack. So you have USB here, and you can plug in an OTG cable and a USB drive and actually run ROMs off of that if you want to. So that's featured here. That's very cool. I'll show you miscellaneous. And miscellaneous is nice because it gives you um, some nice features here. So you can copy log to SD card if you're having an issue. You can uh, reboot the device. You can reboot to recovery. You can reboot bootloader, or you can shut off. And then he's got a little funny fancy stuff down here for you know changing the colors of these things if you want it, it just you know cool extra features right there it does tell you your battery percentage right here it tells you what version you're on for multi-rom and this is version 18 um, so you see all this stuff I'm just gonna reboot the, the, the device right now just to show you um, how it works again and show you the other features that are in that application that we installed with and then I'm gonna reboot and we'll boot to um, how to install a ROM here. So you can see that it's auto going to auto boot to internal. See it says booting internal and you'll have your standard Android operating system here booting up. As soon as it does I'll show you this app and just show you the other settings in it. 
Okay, here's my internal again booted. Um, here's that multi-ROM manager. And so, the other things I just want to show you, so you can see what it says it's installed here, so you can see that information on top, um, is I wanted to show you this right here in settings. And I checked this, it wasn't pre-checked. This checks for updates to multi-ROM and recoveries. So if, if he updates his, his system, which he covers, and he does update quite often, the developer on this, um, which is really, really cool, it will go ahead and like pull those and tell you about them, that there's an update. And there's just a couple quick settings in here. That would be one that I would definitely turn on just to have. I think it's a good setting. So other than that, you can see all that information. And I'm just going to go ahead and reboot into recovery with this application. This is Goo Manager. Um, but you can also do a reboot to recovery, um, you know, by powering off and manually booting into recovery. The same way you'd get into recovery, any recovery system on your device, or with an app like that to reboot to recovery. It, it doesn't matter because you're still running a recovery, and it is still Team One Recovery Project for me, and that's what you'll be on too. But it's just edited. So the difference in it, this all looks exactly like normal, right? Is right here. You go to Advanced, and then there's this one button right here that's different. So, I mean, otherwise your recovery is exactly the same. You can flash wipe, do all that stuff, just like you always would um, on a normal device with a recovery in these settings. But if you want to install a second ROM, you come here and you hit multi-ROM. Then this is your, going to be your interface for using multi-ROM. And you can see list of ROMs. So you can see I have that CM10 ROM right there. And I'm just going to show you that I'm going to go ahead and right here, if you want to add things or flash something to that ROM, you can do it all here by clicking on it. You can delete it, rename it, whatever you want to do. Back it up, wipe data cache, all that stuff, and it all gets done to that ROM. I'm going to delete it right now. And the reason I'm deleting is because I want to show you guys how to install it. So if you want to install a ROM, you just come in here. And this is an Android ROM. I do not want to share the kernel with the internal. I want Saijamon to install their own kernel. I want to use internal memory, or if you had a USB cable plugged in, I think you could see uh, OTG cable, you would see that. So I'm going to hit next. I'm going to pick my zip. There it is, right there. And I'm going to slide across to flash it. Now, it's a little bit frustrating to me that you can't pick multiple zips in this. Maybe it's just an update he's going to do later, um, developer on this, as it goes through. But at this point, you only can pick the ROM zip. Um, so, but everybody knows that things like AOSP and Saijamod all require Google applications. So we're going to go back and go back again and then go to ROM list. You can see that ROM's in there again now that we installed it. And then I'm going to flash a zip from here and then pick the Google applications are listed. And now the Google applications are installed. So a little bit frustrating that you kind of have to go back like that to do the next install, but not a real huge di deal. So we're back out, back out again, again. You can see your ROMs listed here. You can, I'll show you some features here. You can change um, some things here. I don't want to change that. Here, we'll do it like this. So we can uh, rename. And I'm just going to shorten it because I think that's just ridiculous to have all that on there. And we'll go with that 10.2 and then go. And go back so ROM listed there it is and then I just want to show you some other quick settings here this talks about some other features you can do configure auto boot so here is where you would tell it what to boot and internal see it's, in, it's called internal ROM on that last screen that splash screen I'm just gonna call this stock so it's easier for me to understand what it is and all this oh you also have uh, where was it at configure auto boot and I like to extend that to 10 seconds for auto boot. And you can tell it to auto boot internal or CM 10.2. And I, I'm just going to leave it on internal for right now. So you should be able to save all this stuff. And back out, back out. Reboot system. And you should have that CM 10.2 on your splash screen along with that file called stock. As long as I save that, I'm not sure if I actually hit the right button there. So here's our splash screen, we're at 10 seconds, we're going to touch it, and there you go. You have stock, and you have CM 10.2. So you've seen stock boot, I'm going to go ahead and let CM boot, and that's it. That's basically how you do it. So it's simple, super simple, that splash screen comes up every time you reboot the device. 
It's not like you have to push anything special to get that to come up. It just auto comes up there. You pick your ROM and you're good to go. Uh, so I absolutely love this because I'm a crack flasher and I like to flash a lot, a lot of ROMs. So this is a very cool um, feature and mod for guys like me who are flashaholics and all that kind of good stuff and go crazy modding out there. Android devices. So this is going to boot up. It's going to have to, you have to go through all the setup process and all that, all that good stuff because I just reinstalled it. But that is it. That's pretty simple. It's an absolutely awesome app. I love that the app's there to install this. It just streamlines it because otherwise you got to download like three files and flash them in recovery and do this whole process and the application just does it all for you. Um, but that's it, guys. I hope you guys like this video on multi-ROM. Big uh, thanks to Tessard. I think that's how I say his uh, name, the developer of this mod on the Nexus 7 either edition and the Nexus 4 as well. Uh, as always guys, I'm going to put links to everything on this in the video description along with the XDA threads, with the app, all that good stuff. Root Junkie out.